for April 12th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well today. Just keep in mind, Aquarius, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else to appreciate, okay? Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, let's get right to it. <clears throat> One second. All right, first we're going to pull an Astro Soul Oracle card, and then we're going to get right into the tarot, okay? Spirit Guides, God, Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Aquarius today, please. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. There we go. We have Vertex, Karmic Point, Sinistry, Faded Connections, and Turning Point, okay? Actually, I think, I think this is my first time Aquarius getting this card, so I'm going to read it from the little booklet here, Vertex. Maybe maybe the second time, but I don't know. Okay. Fortune of Fates. All right. The Vertex is a mathematical point in the chart of the native. As an astrological point, it is connected with it is connected with karma and fate, and it comes to life when triggered by planetary transits. The trends the transiting aspect that should mostly be observed is the conjunction and the slow moving planets as they are the ones that will mainly influence the native's life. The vertex is also widely used in sinistry charts as it is responsible for major changes, especially in relationships, births, and deaths of people, mainly accidents, while also in important business partnerships, beginnings, or endings. The use of this the use of this element in astrology is a bit controversial since some astrologers use it and others do not. This card can depend on whether someone believes in free will and that we are the ones writing history, or if you remain open to the possibility that there is some fated events that were meant to happen no matter what. Perhaps now you are waiting for me to give you a clear an answer in terms of how to use this element, but I encourage you to ask yourself this question. Do you believe our lives are based on random events and connections with others that consistently happen somewhere in between time and space? Or do you believe in coincidences and that there is also a reason behind the things that happen to us as well as the connections we form, even when we don't understand them yet? Y'all see what's going on with the sun where it keeps getting bright and dark and bright and dark? <laughs> do I know Ohio State or NFL? Cool cash, I ain't gonna lie to you, my friend. I don't even watch sports like that. <laughs> I, I like I like sports and uh, I like watching them, but I do not like the politics when it comes to sports at all. I feel like people are way too invested in it and there's so much other things to invest your time in, so I don't even get into it. Y'all see that? What's going on with the sun? It keeps getting bright and dark and bright and dark. I don't know. Anyway, so let's get right into the tarot. Let's see what spirit has for you today, okay? Spirit Guides, God, Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Aquarius today, please. Show me that Aquarius energy. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. There we go. I feel like every sign is going through some kind of like challenges. Thank you, love, okay. Okay, in the past, Aquarius, you have the Nine of Swords, okay? The Nine of Swords is a card of being stuck in your head or worrying or having anxiety about things that are yet to come or things that don't matter because you have no control over them, okay? Could be you or it could be someone in your energy. Clarify this Nine of Swords for Aquarius in the past, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I guess something that popped out in the present, which is, a, which is the Five of Swords reversed. Okay, that is Aquarius energy. Oh, my nose is itching. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Aquarius in the past, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. 
Permit reversed. Knight of Cups. Page of Swords. You got a lot of court cards here. Okay. The Hermit Reverse is a card of kind of, um, it's like over talking or over speaking instead of doing quiet reflection. Okay. I feel like you could be having to talk it out. All right. With someone or someone's trying to come and talk, talk with you about something that they're worried about. Take it as it resonates. Feel free to reverse the roles as needed. Okay. Let me see this really quick. It says hypersocial. Okay. Sometimes we can run away from problems by being hypersocial instead of quiet reflection. All right. Uh, you have the Knight of Cups so and the Page of Swords, so there could be someone in your energy that is like, you know, eyeing you or keeping an eye on you. It could be a someone that wants to come in romantically and offer you something, but they're trying to get you to come to them. It could possibly be a water sign, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Thank you so much, love. I appreciate that. Um... Yeah, I, I, I like, uh, I used to not believe in tarot for a long time since you're, I just, there's like two people commenting, so I'm going to reply to the people. Um, but for a long time, I didn't believe in tarot. And then I went personally through a tower moment. Okay. And that really helped me to, to believe in it. So I was raised Christian as well. Um, I still pray every single day, but I also meditate and I do tarot readings every single day. So a little bit of background for myself there for you. All right. Guess videos and gaming? I don't. I don't know them. Nope. All right. You have the Page of Swords as well, which means you might be younger than the person that, that has their eye on you wanting to come in. All right. They're hoping that you make a move towards them, Aquarius. But at the same time, it could be someone that's older than you. It might possibly be a older water sign, but it doesn't have to be. Okay. Um, but I feel like you, you know who they are, or it's either one of two things. You know who they are. But since these two are like faced in two different directions, okay, I'm gonna show you really quick. Cause this is how they came out. Page of swords, swords represent air, which is um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? And then the Knight of Cups, since they're like focused in two different ways, um, their focus is on two different things. I feel like they could be someone that's in your energy, but you may not know them, know about them yet, okay? Or vice versa. You might still be focused on a past situation or something that didn't work out, okay? You're like planning for the future, which means you might run into this person soon, but right now your focus is elsewhere. This is representing the past, okay? Just throwing that out there, but clarify this past situation for Aquarius, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ten of Cups. King of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Devil. Wow, this is a strange, strange couple of cards put together here, okay? So you have someone that's financially stable, emotionally stable. This, this could be <clears throat> could be someone that you have a happy family, happy home life with, or someone that you want that with. Um, but then you have the Devil card here, which is like a codependent energy, or bondage, materialism, or obsession. You have someone that's still like thinking about you a lot, that wants to keep you close to them or keep you near them clarify this past situation for aquarius please holy spirit holy angels one two three four you could have two different people that want to come in or two two different people that you're dealing with <laughs> clarify holy spirit holy angels one two three four king of swords and the page of cups reversed here we got all the kings oh, not all of them we got three of the kings here okay they're all in the upright position and then you have the Page of Cups. Why the Page of Cups, King of Swords? You got a lot of court cards. That's why it's kind of hard to decipher here. You're really having to think something through. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Four of Cups reversed. I feel like you're having to make a decision about who who to choose. Okay. You have a couple of good options. Some of you might have kids with a past person. All right. You might already be in a happily happy family connection and you got one person that's doing really good but i don't know what you would have to be deciding here if that's the case okay let me get one more card four of cups reversed you're trying to break out of your shell for some of you you're like starting a new relationship or wanting to start a new relationship here um you're having to let go of someone or something from the past in order for this to happen okay it could have been a happy family happy home life that turned bad this is a strange past I'm going to move on from that energy because that is just getting more complicated the more I pull, okay? In the present, you have the Queen of Cups and the Reversal. 
Okay. All right, uh, Queen of Cups in the reversal is someone that could be emotionally manipulative, okay? Somebody that kind of uh, may act a little crazy sometimes. You have the Five of Swords in the reversal. It doesn't have to be a female. It could be a male. Take it as it resonates. All right, so it's like you're getting out of the control of something. This is like an end, uh, an end to subjugation, freedom from oppression from someone that is like this. Okay, clarify this present situation for Aquarius, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Nine of Pentacles reversed, Four of Cups. Yeah, you're closing off from someone that is like this, okay? You may be having to work harder or work um, more or something, all right? Because Nine of Pentacles reversed is all work and no play leads to a life of wealth and possibly power, but to what end, all right? But you feel like there is a lot of work and no play here, but you're closed off from someone that you know is not good for you emotionally, which is part of the reason why you're doing this, okay? Clarify the present situation for Aquarius, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Chariot reversed. King of Wands. Queen of Swords reversed. And the Six of Swords. Somebody doesn't want you to move on from them. Okay, they really don't want you to move on them. They're, they're actually kind of like trying to slow you down or say that you moving on by yourself is you're going to be unsuccessful. Okay. They're kind of projecting onto you too, all right, with this uh, Queen of Swords in the reversal. I feel like they're saying that you're critical or cruel, all right, someone that they could be saying that you're mentally manipulative, okay, uh, dismissive or unreliable, but you're really trying to uh, step into your position, okay, with the King of Wands here, being in a leadership position or doing what you need to do for yourself as being the leader of your own life, okay, let me get two more cards death in the reverse and the ace of swords so there is a victory that is coming in for you but someone is really um against this change okay they're in some kind of stagnant energy or feeling like they're in a stalemate whenever it comes to this some of you might be dealing with a scorpio all right maybe a fire sign or easily or a sag but it doesn't have to be okay but you do have a victory coming in for you for standing up for something that you need to do for yourself as far as getting someone out of your energy or getting out of the control of this person okay Anyway, we have the Nine of Wands reversed in the future, okay? Astronomy, I'm doing a general reading for the sign of Aquarius right now, okay? If you would like me to pull a card on you at the end of the reading, just wait, stay in the comment section, and whenever I say, all right, next person to comment, I'm going to pull a card for you, then comment, and then I'll pull a card, okay? Nine of Wands in the reversal. This is a really strange reading. Weakness of character, shifty and shifting alliances, someone who tries to evade responsibility or even deserts outright. Clarify. Let's see if we can clarify this Nine of Wands for Aquarius in the future. Clarify Nine of Wands for Aquarius in the future, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. The moon card, ace of wands, four of pentacles in the reversal. This, I feel like someone is having a hard time letting go of you, okay? I think that they don't want you to know this, okay? They do not want you to know that they're having a hard time letting go of you, all right? But it's someone that you you might have dealt with like a third party with or someone that, I don't know, it could have been like a fling or a situationship maybe, okay? But with the Ace of Wands, they want to start something new with you or have a new beginning with you, okay? I feel like, I still feel like they don't want you to know that, okay? Which is weird, but they do, they do want that. Clarify this future situation for Aquarius, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, one, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Three of Wands, Judgments, Nine of Cups, the Moon Reverse. I feel like you see through whoever this person is, all right? Or whatever this is. Judgment is like an ending of something, but not necessarily the beginning of something else, okay? But that the, the Moon Reverse is like deception revealed, okay? So whatever this person is trying to hide from you that they don't want you to know, you do see it, okay? You have Nine of Cups as well, which is like uh, being happy with whatever you have going on right now, okay? 
You have two Pisces cards here with the Moon and the Nine of Cups, so you might be dealing with a Pisces, okay, or someone that has Pisces somewhere in their chart, or you do, all right? But you've really put in the work and put in the effort somewhere, and you're waiting. You're waiting for the uh, manifestation of this with the Three of Wands, waiting for the return profit of some kind of work that you put in. Okay, clarify. Let me get two more cards to clarify the future situation for Aquarius, please. One, two, three, four. Justice reversed and the Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to stop you or they want to like hold you back or some kind of way, but whatever you have coming in for you is coming. There's no there's no stopping it. There's no holding it back, okay? You're like an unstoppable force with this Knight of Swords here. So this is looking very good for you. The past situation was very confusing. The present one went much better, okay? So I don't know. Aquariuses are, uh, I really like Aquarius people. I have Aquarius in my chart as well. Okay, so I might have a little bias there, but still. <laughs> All right, let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of the situation for you. Okay. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, Big Bubba Mac. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aquarius, please. Show me that Aquarius energy. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. All right, movies. Something about the movies is significant. You might be going to the movie soon or somebody might be taking you to the movies for some of you if you're watching a movie you might get some kind of download to help you figure out something in this chaotic situation <laughs> we have interest someone could be interested in you you could be figuring out someone's interested in you or you're interested in someone or somebody owes you money or vice versa okay one two three four we have pregnancy some of you might get some kind of download as far as a new idea, all right? Some of you, if you're not wanting this to happen, I would take preventative measures just in case, okay? It is a strange time at this time, okay? With all the Mercury retrograde and the, the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse, so both of those just happened recently. Something about a car or truck might be significant. You might be getting a new car or truck or getting one worked on. Could be dealing with a mechanic, maybe. Somebody that works on cars or trucks. What else? One, two, three, four. We have cancer. You might have cancer somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with someone that has cancer in their chart or you're dealing with a cancer maybe. What else? One, two, three, four. Jesus, my nose is such a... We have magician. You could be dealing with some obstacles that are being placed in your path by spirit, okay? To see how you react to it. If this is the case, this means that you, that you have a spiritual connection, okay? For some of you, you're manifesting, again, with the card of manifesting here, Okay? computer you might be watching this through a computer or something about your computer might be significant hello wander how you doing from england that's what's up okay we have computer how did i just do this wrong All right, let's open it and just make those, mix those up. One, two, three, four. Someone's first one of our last name could start with a T, yours or theirs, or somebody's trying to get the T, trying to get information about what you got going on. What else? One, two, three, four. We have J, someone's first one of our last name could start with a J, yours or theirs, okay? Someone's name might be TJ or JT. One, two, three, four. We have past. Somebody's really focused on the past or focused on their past situation with you, Aquarius, or something about past is significant here. What else? One, two, three, four. This could be a past person even. Somebody wears a mask in your energy. They act one way to your face, but they act different behind your back. Okay. But I think they don't say it. no money per se, but plane tickets. There you go. One, two, three, four. We have seven, seven, seven. You could be seeing this angel number a lot. Introspection, self-discovery, and solitude. Okay. Seven, 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 one, two, three, four. We have mother. Something about your mother might be significant about this situation. For some of you, you might be a mother, okay? Something about a mother is significant here. One, two, three, four. We have feather or feathers. You might be seeing feathers a lot. If so, this reading could be for you, okay? Black, white, gray feathers, okay? One, two, three, four. We have sun. So something about a mother-son dynamic might be significant for someone here, all right? Or you might have a son. So you might be dealing with somebody's son. All right. One, two, three, four. We have two, two, two. Trust and patience, especially in manifesting. Okay. So there's some kind of need for trust and patience and manifesting here, Aquarius. Let me get two more. One, two, three, four. 
I just saw your card too, okay? Sacral chakra, codependency, overwhelmed with emotions. So you're dealing with somebody that's co codependent and overwhelmed with emotions here. One, two, three, four. I just saw your card again. We have your ancestors are protecting you, okay? So in the spiritual realm, if anybody's trying to throw something towards you, Aquarius, your ancestors are protecting you, okay? All right, let's get a message from the Ancestors Oracle card. If this message is resonating with you so far, Aquarius, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? It is surprising how few people watch the Aquarius reading, okay? <laughs> Especially compared to the Aries reading, but I do those every day, so it's expected to get a lot more people. We got like six right now. It's been mo mostly four for most of the readings, so that's okay. I'm still doing the live readings for you every Friday, so make sure to come back next Friday for another reading for myself. Oh, snap. Sorry to hear that wander. <laughs> Feathers and fly towards the sun. Oh. oh, snap. I'm so sorry to hear that, okay? All right. Ancestors, spirit guides, God, angels, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Aquarius today, please. Show me that Aquarius energy. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three. Let me try one more time. One, two, three, four. There we go. We have gardener and cultivation, okay? Gardener and cultivation. Let's read it. Some of you might be a gardener or you might have plants, okay? Gardener and cultivation. All right. In prehistoric times, humans grew their gardens and in forests, intermingling medicinal and food plants with the various flora that existed naturally. Through various epochs in history, gardening has not only been used to supply food and medicine, but also for decorative and aesthetic purposes. The gardener is one who prepares the soil as needed to provide the best possible circumstances for plants to grow. They tend the soil with love and care, nurturing the growth of the young plants by providing any other nutrients as necessary. These gardens can supply gifts of food for the gardener and their family as an exchange for the love and care of the gardener. Decorative gardens with flowers and trees provide visual and sensory pleasure inspiring awe for the elegant and aesthetic collaboration with the wild and natural beauty of Mother Earth. Hands-on gardening encourages appreciation for how the elements work synergistically to support the growth of food for all living beings. The increasing interest in and application of, of organic gardening assures us that with this love and care, we can reduce and potentially eliminate the toxic applications of insecticides and pesticides that predominated gardening and agricultural practices up until a few years ago, okay? That is what the card means. This is what your ancestors would like you to hear today through me drawing this card. In addition to nurturing the growth of plants and trees, what else are you cultivating in your life? Are you sowing seeds of love and care, nurturing these with your blessings and intention? Are you paying attention to how you affect others? Do you support their growth emotionally, mentally, and spiritually? What about yourself? Are you tending to your own personal garden, allowing it to flourish in ways that support your spiritual growth and awareness? It's time to examine ways you ignore or inhibit your spiritual growth and take measures that will cultivate your soul's path. Grow a plant from seed and observe how you feel when you pay consistent attention to this living being's needs. Sing to her, water her, send your prayers, and watch what happens, okay? Very good, very good, okay? It's, it's time to check in. That's what I'm getting with that, Aquarius, okay? It's really time to check in with yourself, check in with your relationships, see which ones are good for you and which ones are not, okay? All right, next person to comment, I'll pull a card for you, okay? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Y'all still watching? We got four people, all right? We got four people watching, so. All right, Wander, it's you. <laughs> I had a feeling, okay. <laughs> All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Wander today, please, in the comment section of this live reading. They're gonna know who I'm talking about. Don't feel bad, okay, don't worry. Show me the cards that I need to see for Wander, please. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One. All right, we have the Five of Cups. So Five of Cups popped out. It was in the reversal and it landed in the upright. So there's something here that you may be 
grieving the loss of or mourning. It could be a situation that didn't work out. Okay, you're still really having to work through these emotions. You're welcome. All right, why is the Five of Cups here? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, one, two, three, four. The good news about the Five of Cups is, is that whenever you get done working through whatever these emotions are, you have new opportunities that lie ahead of you. You just have to turn, turn around and see what else is out there for you. What else? Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. We have the Five of Wands. It could be something about someone that you were fighting with or had an argument with doesn't always have to be fighting. It can be different ideas coming together and clashing, okay? You have two fives out here right now as well, which is kind of significant. All right, why? Five of cups, five of wands for wander, please. Holy Spirit, holy angels. One, two, three, four. Nine of cups, okay? So you have something that is going to be happy or you're going to have a reason to be happy. I'm also getting that you're really having to set your boundaries with people, even if it's upsetting, in order to um, allow people to not cross your boundaries so that you can be happy or work towards happiness, okay? One more. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more card for Wander, please. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more. One more clean. One, two, three. Oh. One more. One, two, three, four. And we have the Seven of Cups, okay? So Seven of Cups is exploring options or figuring out what you have to, like things that you can choose from as far as the path that you wanna choose. It could be people in your energy that you're choosing from or some of these people are not good, okay? <laughs> you have to be your own leader of discernment, but still. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sharon. Ugh. I try to do them at different times or I've been trying to recently, but uh, hopefully you'll catch me one day, all right? <laughs> I do the three every day, so. All right, so that's that's gonna be it for you, Wander. Okay, we got the Five of Cups, Five of Wands, Nine of Cups, and Seven of Cups. So you're gonna have some options that are gonna lead to, to happiness. I feel like you're still working through some emotional situation that didn't work out for you right now. Okay, it could be having to far, fight or argue. <laughs> I said far you. <laughs> fight or argue with people or friends or family in your energy, okay? But you do have happiness ahead and you have some options, okay? so. All right, Aquarius, this is going to be the end of your reading for today. Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It really does help out the channel. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box below. After this reading, I'm doing Capricorn. So if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, feel free to check out that reading, okay? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first. This means so much to me. Thank you so much. You've been surrounded by people that only took from me, but... From now, moving on, you are spot on. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It means a lot to know happiness is ahead. Yes, you have something to be happy ahead. Okay, with the Nine of Cups. Boom. All right, guys. Thank you all so much. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. As always, love yourself first. And you are welcome, Wander. See you guys later.